Now that you've tried the stress eraser, let's talk about some ways to make sure you get the most out of your stress eraser sessions. At the end of this section, we'll offer some stress eraser breathing tips. The better your breathing techniques, the better your stress eraser experience will be, and the better you'll feel. If you're generally uncomfortable with technology, give yourself a little extra time to become familiar with the stress eraser. Some people start making long, smooth waves quickly, but not everyone. Just go at your own pace. Let's start out by addressing some common problems that you might have. If you're getting a screen that says sensor error, or if you aren't getting a wave at all, here are some solutions. First, make sure you aren't pressing your finger too hard against the sensor. Don't squeeze. Squeezing can make it difficult for the sensor to detect your blood flow. Your fingertip should rest gently in the clip. Also, make sure to keep your fingers steady. If you move too much, the sensor won't be able to get a reading. Make sure there is no direct light, such as sunlight, that might interfere with the sensor's infrared light. Very bright lights can cause a sensor error. If you like to relax outdoors, find a shady spot where the stress eraser is protected from the sun. Make sure your hands are warm. Cold hands are a common problem. To get a pulse reading, the sensor requires that your fingertip is at room temperature. If you suffer from cold hands or poor circulation, try rubbing your hands together or running them under hot water. If you're still getting a sensor error, try using a different finger. Sometimes your middle finger or ring finger will get a better reading than your index finger. And one more thing to check. Make sure that your batteries are fully charged. Low batteries could affect your stress eraser performance. Let's take a look at your breath wave. Our goal is to help you make long, smooth waves that consistently score two and three squares. When you first start out, it might take a while before your flat line turns into a wave. Don't worry if your line stays flat. Sometimes it may take up to 30 seconds before your wave appears. If it continues to be flat, you can resolve the problem with the sensor error tips we talked about earlier. Don't worry if your wave is jagged at the beginning of your stress eraser session. Just about everyone starts out with a jagged wave. A jagged wave is absolutely normal for heart rate variability during the day. Your pulse rate rises and falls while you're talking, working, and moving around from place to place. Once you get into the rhythm of the stress eraser breathing and focus, your waves will become longer and smoother. It often takes time, so relax and enjoy the learning process. Eventually, you will train your body's relaxation response to activate more and more quickly each time. Don't worry if the triangles are too close together. The best thing to do is simply ignore the extra triangles. In fact, you may want to close your eyes or look away from the screen. While you're looking away, take a few long, gentle inhales and exhales. Repeat a few times. The triangles will spread further apart as you slow down your breathing. After a few minutes, look back at the screen again. If your waves are longer, you should be able to start to sync your exhale with the triangles. Choose a triangle that is comfortable for your current breathing pace. Remember, your breathing should always be gentle, quiet, and comfortable. Don't worry if you're scoring one square or if your waves keep breaking. It takes some time to learn to consistently make two or three squares. When a smooth wave suddenly spikes, it means there was a break in your parasympathetic activity. When this happens, simply continue breathing. You can breathe through the broken wave. Remember, a broken wave is your cue to refocus. By slowing down your breathing and refocusing your exhale count, you should be able to start scoring two and three squares. Some people naturally become more anxious the first time they use the stress eraser. Watching your body react in real time can cause biofeedback-induced anxiety. Anxiety may also occur if you have difficulty learning to use the stress eraser. If you become anxious, stop using the stress eraser. Try again later when you already feel relaxed, maybe after you've exercised. 
Remember, if you ever feel uncomfortable using the stress eraser, you should simply stop. Now let's talk about healthy breathing with your stress eraser. For best results, keep your back straight. That will keep your air passages open. Breathe in and out through your nose or mouth, whichever is more comfortable for you. If you're having trouble breathing slowly, try pursing your lips. To do this, pucker or purse your lips as if you're going to whistle. This will release less air as you exhale and will help slow down your breathing. Remember, your breathing should always be gentle, quiet, smooth, and comfortable. You should not be straining, taking long inhales, holding your breath, or doing anything that is at all uncomfortable. Stress eraser breathing is not deep breathing. Depth will come as long as you're breathing slowly. Stress eraser breathing is like normal breathing, except it's a little slower and synchronized with the activity of your nervous system. Once you're familiar with the stress eraser and are consistently scoring three squares, extend your exhale as long as you can until your wave starts to rise again. Then begin your inhale. Remember, you benefit from making your exhales longer and longer, as long as your breathing remains comfortable and relaxed. Your goal is to extend your exhale for as long as your nervous system can handle. If you're still having difficulty finding a comfortable exhale number that consistently scores two or three squares, press the breathe button. This will start a little program that helps you find your optimal exhale count. The program helps you experiment with different exhale counts from a count of two through a count of nine. The exhale count that scores the most points and is comfortable for you is your optimal exhale count. Once you've found your count, you can return to your regular stress eraser session by pressing the breathe button again. Every day is different, so your optimal exhale count may vary from day to day, or even hour to hour. For a complete description of the breathe button program, check your owner's manual. We hope this section helped answer your questions about using the stress eraser. More information is available on our website and in your stress eraser owner's manual. If you'd like to contact one of our support professionals, please don't hesitate to call or send us an email.